F-stops and T-stops, sometimes mistaken for two ways of measuring the same thing. The truth is a little more complicated. In the center of the lens is a hole called the aperture, which is located in the center of the iris diaphragm. The aperture controls not only the amount of light, but the collimation of the light rays. Collimated light rays are rays of light that are parallel to one another. A wide aperture allows more uncollimated light rays to hit the sensor, which is what gives us shallow depth of field. It also allows a greater number of rays through the elements, and therefore a more brightly exposed image. A narrow aperture allows for a higher percentage of collimated light rays resulting in a sharp image across a larger plane, or deep depth of field. Since this is lowering the total quantity of light rays, it results in a darker exposed image. Many modern cinematographers started off with photography lenses, typically marked with f-stops. f-stops are calculated measurements of the size of the aperture. This number is determined by dividing the focal length and the diameter of the aperture. Cinema lenses are marked with t-stops. The t-number is determined by taking the f-number and dividing by the square root of the percentage of transmittance of the lens. There is a marked difference. f-stops are calculated with no concern to light transmission. Two different lenses set at f5.6 will expose different amounts of light to the sensor. Due to coatings, refraction, reflection, the difference is small, but it will need to be dealt with in post. T-stops are a way to quantify light transmission through the lens and a much more practical scale for a cinematographer to work with. The DP can meter for T5.6 and be confident that if a different lens is chosen at the last second, that the exposure will remain constant at T5.6 without adjustment. S-stops T-stops. Two different ways of measuring two different things. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.